Sizzling in the Melbourne sun. A little bit of Ireland on the other side of the world in more ways than one. The Fitzpatrick family from Clonakilty teamed up to provide free samples of black and white pudding at the Australasia Championships while also taking part in the Games. We came out on an adventure nearly two years ago, myself, my husband and some of our kids, not all of them. Um, there's three of them with us and the other four are scattered around the globe as we speak. Um, they've all come to visit us while we've been here for the two years and uh, so we're just on a life's adventure and uh, enjoying every moment of it, especially the blue skies. <laughs> and what part is the GEA playing in that adventure? Oh, the GA have always been playing part of our lives, even at home in Clannacilty, my boys and Emily were always involved big time in our local uh, GA club in Clannacilty. And um, luckily we found fantastic clubs up in Brisbane, uh, Killian is playing with Nafina, uh, the hurling team, and uh, Emily is playing with the Camogie girls up there and uh, they're like second home, they've made it feel like home. Winning always helps and Killian was on the Queensland team that won the plate competition. He's delighted to be able to keep playing Irish games and using the Irish language down under. Ah Tom on a bodu last mar, you know on a money what more the gaktana Iraq, you know, honing me a mark and shove near Viscom on Revshe Mark and Shore and Revshe, you know, Kane sort of you know, honing me a mark. Bulmilla lads, Susa Brisbane, Lena Fina, I guess like Fitzy, Vishay, Gahuntok, I'm Tom, Anna Vorulas, but he's in Shaw, I give her to Queensland, it's Vorunduke. Killian's little sister was also a winner, just 17 years old and wearing number 18. Emily played her part in an epic senior camogie final, which went to extra time twice before Queensland eventually beat New South Wales with a scrambled goal. Afterwards, an emotional Emily said people in Ireland don't quite understand what the GEA is like in Australia. They don't, I don't think they understand how passionate people are out here, even the girls. Like, I've never met a bunch of girls so passionate about hurling, like camogie. Like, I know at home it's a big thing, but never in my life have I seen girls so into their camogie. It means like being away from Komogi, it's like a bit of you, you know, like you put everything into it and it means so much to everybody around you and like everybody's working together and it means, it kind of reminds you of home, you know, and it, you put so much into it with such a good group of girls and they take such good care of you, like I'm the youngest so they took me under their wing and they showed me what to do and they really made me feel like I was home, you know. And does camogie mean more to you out here than it did back in Clonakilty? Definitely, like, I know I always loved camogie, but once I came out here, I felt like I, like I had to keep it. Like, it was, it just reminded me so much of home and it was just me, like, it was a part to me and I just couldn't lose it. And being able to play it out here is, like, I'm lucky because there's some people that can't, like, they're in different places in Australia that, and they can't play. And I'm just blessed that I, I have the chance play with such a good group of girls.